Hey everyone, so Larshi here bringing you a new video. This video is going to be how to win GWC and facts on GWC and like everything you need to know. So here's my uh, qualifier collectible that I just we just got. Um, this is just from signing up. That's all you have to do. Um, I'm going to be competing for USA on Xbox. There's about six, seven hundred people in this online qualifiers. Um, Thank you. Okay, so now, um, I don't, is it going to be a competitive season? No, it's right up on HUD champs. Actually, yeah. let's see. Completed. Upcoming. GWC Canada. GWC USA. So, it's in five hours it starts. Um, it goes by wins. You gotta play three games, earn a rank, win more games, climb the ladder. The higher you rank, the better reward. Collect your reward at the end of the round. Your gaming round or see the points. Um, starts starts on March 11th at 12 a.m. and will end on the 16th. How many games can you play? This round starts March 11th at 20, and on the 16th yet. Yeah, okay, it will be finalized then. Hmm. Do you have to get like a certain? Let's see if you gotta get a certain rank. And how does that work? Because, like, how many games can you play? And that's my last Hut Champs run, and that was awful. So, if we're going to want to win, we're going to have to do a lot better than that, boys. Um, so, you got to play three games on a rank. One more game to climb the ladder. How many games is it, though? Um, I don't know if it says... What's this one say? Hmm. You know? I don't even know myself. So there's going to be two qualifiers for this. Rich for 15th play in the second week so, so I'm gonna um check again I mean I'm gonna try again if I don't get it this time but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get in I'm trying to figure out for you guys um what's what do we have to do like I mean maybe it's a limited amount of games just how many wins you get which is kind of stupid because See the season prizes in the season's hub. What? Where's the season's hub? Hmm. Tough. All right, well, how to win GWC, boys. This is how you do it. Once you get the collectible, you go on the market, you sell all your players that are under six foot four, and you go here, and you go to minimum overall, you go like 89, and then you get everyone over six foot four on your team. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Just have tall players and you'll win. GWC. No, I'm kidding. But I will recommend some players to you guys. Um, we'll go with forwards first. <clears throat> Eichel's six foot three, he's ninety seven overall. Um, very very good card. Six two. I lied, but whatever. Um, I don't like anyone small. Bergeron's a little bit taller. Tchak's a fucking goat, but. I don't know how you're going to afford him. If you do, you do. Then nice. Um, Vashkin's a beast in this game. Big body. Host is pretty good. Is he, How tall is he? He's only 6'1", eh? Yeah, but 6'1", with those stats, is very, very good. 
in this gardener. I don't know. I'm not a big righty guy anyway, so I can't suggest him. Um, it's McDavid, obviously. I don't know if, if he holds a playoff spot. He's a good center. Not big, but he can bump a little bit. Um, oh, no one, I think, is too slow. Yeah, too slow. Um, I have this Gabbert card. I really like him. What about this Josh Bailey? I haven't, I haven't seen this card. In the same height and weight. Um, Brett Hall, I mean, too slow again. Wheeler's a big card. I mean, I think he has a better card out, so I'd recommend his that card. But he's a big boy, just like Barkov. He, 6-3 with axe with 99 speed. Um, 96 Matthews is a very good pickup. Kennan's I, but he's a little bit smaller. Crosby's only 5'11". hard to bump people off, but really good player. Um... This Kovalchuk's pretty good. He's 98 speed, 93 shot, 6'3", 225, which is really, really, really good. Um, that other 89 Kovalchuk, same thing. Dry style, 95, really, really good card. I think he's too small, yeah. But this 92 Shifley is pretty good. I had him on my team, but most teams are a lot better than that now. But if not, same with this for 10. He's a good card because he's 229. Big, big body on the ice. This any Matthews like this overall and up. Maybe even the 92, but maybe not. Um, Barzell is pretty good. Um, yeah. Backstrom's I it's a little bit smaller. I like guys who are like six two, six three for center. And over like two hundred so they can bump these big guys off the puck. This ninety nine Kucherov though, holy god. I wouldn't I don't like small cards like that, but if you're good with them I guess. I mean and he's a ninety nine overall, you can't you can't hate him. Um Okay, we'll go to defense now. We've been on forward for a bit. So, you look for height again. Um, over 6'2", maybe 6'3". This, so, this Headman, 94 Headman with Axe. Oh, very good card. Um, Yossi's 6'1". I mean, he's good card, but I don't really like guys under 6'1". That's personal preference, but I th I just like guys that can uh, have a bigger stick, better, better pickups. It's not Hannafin's a good card, very good card because he's six three. Um, Quinn Hughes, same thing with uh, I don't know. I can't deal with him. Um, who else? I don't like the Slavin. I mean, the Lorenzi's I, I didn't, I sold him. But this Hadman too. The Sandheim's a very, very good card. There's a chance that he, he they get a wild card and he comes at 97. Would recommend him. Um, I got a re him in a uh, tradable pack. So six five here. <laughs> Max speed six foot five two thirty three. I mean, come on. Very good card. A little bit lower on the defense awareness, but. It's all right. You just need to get in the passing lanes. If you manual him, then that's fine. And then the six three again to thirty, so that explains a lot there. He's gonna be locking him down a lot. This ninety two Carlson, very good, six foot three. He's got max speed again. So it's Ekblad. Most of his cards are very good. Um. 90 headman, a little bit slow, um, but he's still six foot six. So, and then this Burns with Axe is all is pretty good. I have the 95 uh, team of the year, so 
I recommend him too if you have the budget for that. 92 Shabbat. Good card. I don't know a lot of these guys' height, these legends, so if I skip over them, it's just because I haven't used them. This Hedman's very good too. I mean, all of them are. This Carlo, though, very underrated. He's six foot five, and, like, he is a great card. He's an end game card, kind of, if he does get that 97. Um, same with this Tyler Myers. He's a little bit worse, but he's very, very good too, and, like, like, dude, it's so hard to bump these guys out the puck. And they're very good when most people have these big cards. 95 Burns here, too. Very good. So, what I'm pretty much saying is look for height and speed. And then make your decision based off the, the, the shots um, afterwards. Because if they're big, I mean... They don't even really need a huge shot if you're going to get to the right lanes, but I prefer to do, if I would subtract like an inch or whatever for like plus one or two wrist shot accuracy, um, but you need to take a hit in this game, especially with the top players, they're going to be able to get the puck off you very easy, you need to get it back by bumping them, but uh, this is pretty much it, um, good luck in GWC, comment below if you guys how you guys do in the qualifiers. And if you have any more questions or any more videos that you would like to see. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I have like 80% of you guys watching not subscribed. So you guys need to subscribe immediately. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.